Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Grit and Galler uh, Grit and Galler. Grit and Valor 1949, if I can get the title of the game that I'm playing correctly. Um, but yeah, I saw a, a buddy of mine, Lantern Nick, also known as the 20 Minute Gamer. He gave this uh, game a try recently and um, sure, collect my data, I don't care. Um, what data do I really have to give? But yeah, so he gave this game a try, and I want to play it for myself. So this is just a demo, by World the way. World War II rages on. The evil Axis forces have destroyed Europe with their legion of giant mechs. Uh. Most of the Allied forces have been defeated. The few survivors have been pushed back to the North Atlantic. What happens if the Axis death squads hunt down the remaining civilians? This is what happens if uh, Hitler stayed around? Into labor camps deep underground. He would have created giant mechs. But hope remains. A small group of allies have regrouped off the coast of Scotland and prepare their captured mechs for a deadly mission. Their plan is to travel deep into enemy territory and detonate an EMP in the Axis HQ, known. As machine tower. I think that we did something similar to Japan. Disable all Axis mech production and take down their communications. Yeah, we definitely did something like this that. This elite Japan. squad is known as the Resistance. Didn't we have the atom bomb by now? Couldn't we have just done that to, hope to them? To save the world. Do we really need to create our own mechs? Couldn't we have just bombed them? I don't. I mean, then again, Germany is like in the middle of Europe, so I guess we would have probably taken out Europe in the process, but who needs it, honestly. Um, welcome to the training grounds. Commander, I am General Larkin. Oh, that's a, sorry. And here, I'll teach you the crucial know-how needed for your upcoming mission. I'll provide you with essential strate strategic and tactical insights uh, to keep you safe on the battlefield. First, let me introduce your command vehicle. If it is destroyed, the mission is lost. It must be protected at all costs. Okay. Protect your command vehicle. You'll have an elite squad of mechs. However, in training today, you only have an ironclad mech at your disposal. Now, you know the units you'll be commanding. Let's learn how to observe the battle. Click and drag the middle mouse button. Okay, that... Okay. Usually, it's... Usually you click, okay, whatever. Click and drag the right mouse to rotate the camera, okay. Good job, Commander. Our enemies will approach via helicopter, so make sure to keep an eye out for enemy threats. Here comes an enemy now, so let's get you up to speed with how to command your squad in combat scenarios. Using the left mouse button, click on here, select it, click on the tile. With one. Let's go over here, use your mech to eliminate the damage. Put your mech within range of God and click target. So now he's gonna. But yeah, usually if you want to move with the middle mouse button, you'd click, drag, and then it would go the opposite direction of which way you drag the mouse. But no, this goes towards the cursor rather than away from it. Interesting thing to have a change in a game, but sure. Nice work, command, uh, Commander. Tactical positioning of your units will aid you greatly in combat and, and pairing the advanced strategies. I'm about to teach you what the correct positioning will prove vital. The first of these is known uh, is knowing that units have strengths and weaknesses. Your ironclad mech is a ballistic class unit, so it is strong against fire class units. The incoming mech is a fire class, so your ironclad mech mech attacks ha will have an increased chance to deal critical hits when attacking. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Destroy the end. Okay. It's, it's much easier when they don't fight back. Your ironclad mech made quick work of that mech, but while it can easily dispose of fire class units, you have to avoid explosive class units as, as it's vulnerable to their attacks. The next advanced strategy I'll talk about is taking advantage of the terrain through attacking the enemies from the high ground. Oh, it's like Star Wars all over again. When your mechs, mech attack, mechs attack from the high ground, their attacks will deal increased damage and their 
The greater the height advantage, the greater the damage increase. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Let's put you here. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Yeah, right here. Now you've learned some offensive approaches, let's get you familiar with a defensive strategy. If you want to avoid taking too many hits, our mission is to be successful. And to avoid taking hits, you want to make sh use of cover on the battlefield. Can I move you around? What if I move you to high ground? And just basically using and move into cover. Oh. Well, maybe I should move that. Be highlighted. I can cover, eliminate. So does cover? Ah, so they shoot the cover, but then obviously the cover eventually gets destroyed. Yes, Commander. Not a scratch on your Mac. The cover is doing its job perfectly, but with it taking all those, it'll, it'll, taking all those hits, it will eventually be destroyed. So use attack. There's just one la uh, one last thing I need to go over with you, and that's objectives. Objectives will feature on each battlefield are optional to undertake, but offer you additional resources if you choose to complete them. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Relocating. Uh. Oh, it'll un yes, be unable to fight back. Interesting. Acknowledged. Okay. Relocating. Sure, kind of plenty of different objectives which will require you to undertake different actions where. And with that, you've learned everything you need to know. Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, oh, of course, how could I forget about our esteemed pilots who control the mix? Each pilot has their own ability which can be used to turn the tide of battle. Whoa! Yeah, nothing scarier than seeing a 100 ton... 100... 100 tons of... 100 tons of steel flying towards you. But just remember that each ability has limited uses, so make sure to use them strategically. Why did we have to spell ton differently in the U.S. rather than compared to the rest of the world? And with that, you're now ready to take the fight to the Axis. Good luck out there, and you can return to the training ground later if you need a refresher or an on anything. Also, I know there are other places in the world that spell it differently as well. Commander, it's time to begin Operation Lionheart. This will take us through the British Isles, where we need to capture a scientist to help with the construction of our EMP. The scientist is being held in the southern part of the region. Intel report tells us uh, an Axis general named Eisenhart is guarding the location. It's always the Eisens. So ensure you're prepared for a fight. We tried to negotiate for the innocent scientist to be set free, but General Eisenhart broadcast this message in the British Isles. Attention, resistant scum. <laughs> Your feeble attempts attempt here. Do I need a uh hold on. How do I, how would how would you do a German accent? At, attention just yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it. Your feeble attempts at, at liberation uh will falter before the will of the axis. Surrender now and perhaps I shall spare you from the wrath of my war engines. The scientist is the scientist is key to our plans and I shall not relinquish relinquish him so easily. I wish I could do a German accent. Prepare for annihilation. The might of the Axis knows no bounds. We will need to infiltrate. We will need you to infiltrate the region and rescue the scientist commander. You'll need to go behind enemy lines and fight your way south. Along the way, we have some objectives which will help push back the Axis and, and assist the resistance. Good luck, commander. Oh, we're doing that now? Okay, I was going to take a lunch break, but I... Whatever. Um, I'm a
Oh, they're going up here. That's not good. Nice. This guy seems sick, but the boy mines guy? You have to transfer it over to Made a few mistakes during this, but okay. Yeah, that could have definitely gone better. Uh, my deal career, they have a chance to cause an extra hit. Fire rate. Oh, on the high ground. We'll go fire rate, I feel like. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Is there a way to repair our units? Because defend the civilian tents. Okay. Let's put him like up there. And put him like there. And put him like right there. That's probably a bad spot. So far, so good, I would say. You can stay there, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this deploy mines guy is... Really good. I really like it. Okay. Okay, 
wow. Yeah, that was a little close. Uh... Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, yeah, he is... Um... Because the high-ranking access engineer trying to revolt and join the allies, you're unaware of his intruder intentions, but it could be a valuable asset for us. Increased reward. Oh... My guy is already really weak. I don't know if I want to... Can I... I wish I could see... Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. Just have to click and drag. Uh, is there anywhere to heal? Maybe, like, these areas here? Oh, wait, right... Literally right there is the place to heal. Stupid. Yeah, this guy is... Hurting pretty bad. Oh, wait, I forgot they have abilities, too. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh my god. They're really trying to go for that guy. Please don't attack. Oh my gosh. Get off to the. Oh my gosh. So annoying. Oh no. Okay, I needed to be using these abilities more. Oh my gosh. Okay, so do you have a limited amount of times you can use the ability? Okay. My gosh. You have the chance to revive it in a scavenge. Yeah. Okay. So yes, you do have a limited amount of, amount of uses for your abilities. Okay. Good to know. I say good to know, but that's... Oh, I wish that wasn't the case.
put some landmines around. Okay. Keep your wits about you. I'm doing my best here, man. Ready for orders. Okay, that was, um, okay, yup, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go with that, oh, we need healing, yeah, I need that, and, oh, We're not, we're not doing too hot, I'll be honest. Things aren't looking too good for us, but... Oh... Quickly, move quickly, move quickly. I'm assuming this guy, or, is, or, is, or was this guy the ballistic guy? I don't. That guy was the ballistic guy. Oh, run, 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 run. run.
Okay, nice. Oh, somehow survived that. Okay. Yeah, we we need that. We need that very badly. Okay. Okay, we need to just go for the repair, I think, because... Oh, oh gosh. Let's keep sending this guy because he seems to be about the speediest. So. Strong position right here. So we're just gonna move these move these guys around a little bit. Probably repair him up just to be extra sure. Yeah, we need to get him out of there. Okay. I know I'm taking heavy damage, but what am I supposed to do about it? Um... We'll go with that. We just need to, we need to rush it for the, for the heal. Let's put Okay. Let's 
let's get this guy as well. Fuel up, because he needs to. Let's get him to do some work. We'll just let the flamethrower guy kind of do most of it. He's, he's handling things quite well, I would say. Him and the, the mortar guy. Even though the guy that shoots out the mortars is not, uh... Doesn't have very good aim. You think with an explosive like that, you might be able to aim a little bit better, but... Oh, trust me, it is. At this point, I don't think any of the damage is not isn't critical. Basically, all of the damage has been critical. The only thing keeping me alive right now is the little the limited cover that I have. The enemy is weakening. I don't think I'm weakening. The enemy is weakening, I am also I too am weakening. Oh yes, I would love a way of healing. Oh, thank you, game. Yes, Commander. Knowledge to relocate. Where do I take this over to here? Enemy incoming. Oh, all the way over to there. Okay. No, move back. Oh, for gosh sakes. I didn't realize it was right freaking there. You know what? What else is almost upon us? Death. My guys are all on fire. Yeah, no, I'm screwed. Yeah. Dang. Ooh. 
So here's the roguelite aspect of it. Nice. Commander, good to see you back in one piece. I hope my teachings in the training grounds proved useful out in combat. Now you're back at the resistance base, I'll take you through what you can upgrade between your attempts at bringing down Machine Tower. Our space is limited on this island off the coast of Scotland, but we've made sure to fill it with as many useful facilities and people as possible to aid us in the success of our mission. The junkyard shop should be your first port of call. There are scaven there our scavenger will sell upgrade modules to you, which can be used to improve your mechs. Head on over there now, but first here's some scrap because I don't know because I, I, I doubt she'll let uh, anything go for free. I am Anita Ca uh, Carville. I run the junkyard shop here at the base. You'll also find me out in the field where I do my scavenging. We will have a little something for you if you find me out there. While I'm at the base, though, I, ex I exclusively sell upgrade modules, can which can be used to increase the strength of your mechs. However, they are going to cost you some of that scrap you have earned from your missions if you want to get your hands on them. okay. Ah, uh, that's a good one. I ripped it off of the <laughs> head out in the field. It wasn't destroyed, mind you. So the owner wasn't best pleased when they returned. Oh, Anita must have liked you. Uh, normally she charges newcomers double, but now you have an upgrade module. You should have to your, head over to your mech yard where our engineer will equip it to a mech for you. Right. Morning, nothing like a good cup of joe to start the day. I'm Reginald, but everyone calls me Reggie. I make sure all the resistance mechs are fighting fit. As you have an upgrade module, if you go ahead and let me know where on your mech to equip it, I'll get that wielded on, welded on in no time, sorry. Do I want the ironclad? Yeah, no, I guess don't have, don't have any other choice. And that's, uh, and that's that welded on for you. Now your mech will have some armor every time you take it out on a mission. There's plenty of other equipment slots that your mechs have available, so make sure to keep coming back to increase the strength of your mechs further. Reggie's a good man, though I am worried about him as he drinks nothing but coffee. <laughs> anyway, it's probably about time we checked in with your pilots. Let's on, head on over to the barracks, and while we're there, you'll be able to assist them in their training. Cool. In the barracks, you can issue valor, valor to your pilots here, which will boost their morale and in turn help them with their training. When issuing the valor, you're able to direct the pilot into what area they should focus their training. This is cool. I like that one. Ooh. Yeah, the healing would be cool, would be nice. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, Mech Jet. <laughs> or Archie, I should say. Not my favorite. Um, although, actually, 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 well, train pilots will be pivotal to our mission success. You'll earn lots more valor to further train your product as you finish mission. Okay, idea is buff up one mech to be really strong. And then you can kind of just clear the play area. Excellent, your units are upgraded and equipped. Head over to the hangar to select and configure your squad before departing on your next mission to destroy machine power. But before you head off, I'll leave you to explore the facilities further by yourself. Yeah, well, I want to go back here and increase his damage as well. I don't have any more stuff for there, but the junkyard shop. Let's see. More health. Exposed chance. Critical damage. Movement speed. Fire rate, high ground damage. Ugh, high ground damage, critical chance. Uh, advantage plate of Greaves. Armor, health, repair, high ground. Wow. That is sick. 
Four hundred. Jeez. What is exposed chance? I could I could put this on something and make it so that like we do like the objectives quicker. And then this is the training ground. I assume. Or wait, no, the training ground is that other area. That's right. Yeah, that's this area. Yeah. And then I assume this is maybe like the blueprint blueprint area. But we'll have to uh, obviously like unlock it. Okay, I think I'm gonna buy some stuff. Put increases movement speed. Are these all body modules? Yeah, they are. Armor. What does armor do? Okay, well, I'll keep the health thing. Then. I, I mean, I, it doesn't hurt to just give it to, to just apply it to this guy. I might as well. Can I take it off? Or is it once it's welded on there, it can't be taken off? Um, let's see. How long have I been recording for? 43 minutes. Wow. This is... A lot more time has gone by than I thought. Uh, Yeah, I think I'm gonna have that. And then have this guy. Yeah. Cause I'll have, okay, I'll have this guy be for movement. This guy will be more for like attack and stuff. And then obviously you just have this guy that just launches mortar shells and stuff. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today's video then. Um, this game is so sick. Grit and, and Ballard 1949, it's such a fun game. I'm definitely going to be playing this game more. But yeah, um, shout out to uh, obviously um, the Toy Minute Gamer, you know, Nick. Like I said, good buddy of mine and uh, he's, he's definitely helped me out a lot and I appreciate him not minding if I, uh, you know, you know, look at some of his videos and be like, hey, that's a game that I want to try out. <laughs> you know, he's not going to get upset if I do that. So I really, you know, he's a good guy. He's a, he's a really good, he's a really cool guy. And everything. Really appreciative for having him as a friend of mine and stuff. So again, go check out his channel. I'll give a, I'll leave a link, a link to his channel in the description of this video. So yeah, go check him out. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.